The narcissist feels very bad when the new supply doesn't work either. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Before we dive into today's topic, I would like to invite you to click that subscribe button and follow us. For those of you who are new subscribers and followers, welcome to our community. Your presence means a lot to us. Thank you for taking the time to visit our channel again. I truly appreciate it. If you enjoy the content we provide, please show your support by hitting that like button. Your engagement helps our channel grow and reach more people who might benefit from our discussions. Now, let's get into the video. I was recently reading through your comments, and I want to take a moment to acknowledge the insights and experiences you've shared. It's always enlightening to see how our discussions resonate with your lives. From your comments, a particular topic stood out to me, and I felt it was important to address it. Today, we will talk about what happens when the new supply and the narcissist's relationship comes to an end. Many of you might believe that the narcissist has successfully moved on. You might be seeing various posts on social media featuring the narcissist and their new supply. They are sharing pictures, smiling, and appearing to enjoy their new relationship. However, it is crucial to understand that these images are often just a facade. They are designed for appearances and do not necessarily reflect the reality of the situation. When we refer to the new supply, we are often talking about someone who has been waiting in the background, ready to step in once the narcissist decides to move on from their previous relationship. This individual has likely observed the dynamics of the narcissist's prior relationship, witnessing the turmoil and emotional pain that the narcissist has caused. They may have been patiently waiting for their chance, hoping that they could be the one to make the narcissist happy. Yes, exactly. In the relationship, the new supply is often sitting there, watching and waiting for their chance. They observe the hurt and pain you are experiencing as the narcissist emotionally distances themselves from you. This situation can be quite painful, especially when you realize that the narcissist is effectively ghosting you. While they are ghosting you, the narcissist is off with their new supply, whatever term you prefer to use for this person. They are making promises, assuring this new supply that they will be together, and expressing feelings that may not genuinely exist. This behavior is part of a broader pattern that narcissists often engage in. What you need to understand is that this situation is not merely a game between you and the narcissist, but also involves all parties connected to them, including the new supply. The narcissist is playing a psychological game with themselves, demonstrating a level of self-deception that can be quite astonishing. It's as if they are caught in a cycle of addiction, where their need for validation and attention overrides any consideration for the feelings of others. Think back to the time of the discard, the moment it happened might have felt like an emotional earthquake. You were likely caught off guard, experiencing intense pain and confusion as the relationship ended suddenly. It can feel as if the ground has been pulled from beneath you, leaving you reeling and struggling to understand what went wrong. Then, suddenly, you see the narcissist with someone who was supposed to be a family friend. This person, who you may have seen at family gatherings but never really got to know, suddenly becomes the new focus of the narcissist's attention. You may realize that the narcissist never made a real effort to introduce you to this person, even though they were aware of their existence. In many cases, families are aware of all the supplies involved. They often turn a blind eye to the narcissist's behavior. During the process leading to the discard, you may have felt the signs that the relationship was deteriorating. It was as if you were on a sinking ship, and you could see that things were about to come to an end. The realization that your partner, who you may have thought was committed to you, was actually seeking out another person, can be incredibly painful. At this point, it's important to remember that the narcissist's actions are not a reflection of your worth. They have chosen to pursue another relationship, often with someone they have had in the wings for some time. This new supply may be a recycled individual, someone who has been waiting for their moment to step in. Narcissists often think in a distorted way. They convince themselves that they can juggle multiple relationships without facing the emotional fallout. This is why I emphasize that they are playing a game not only with you, but also with themselves. They manage to create a false narrative in their minds, believing that they are in control while simultaneously disregarding the feelings and well-being of everyone involved. Now, here we are, 
Looking at the situation where the narcissist has moved on to their new supply, they have the audacity to show up with this new partner, presenting themselves in a way that is quite comical and absurd, almost like a mix of characters from a cartoon. It's almost as if they are trying to put on a facade, but the reality is that they often look ridiculous in the process. To elaborate, many narcissists choose partners who seem to fit into their chaotic lives. Sometimes, these individuals may not be the most appealing or well-groomed. I have seen situations where the new supply appears to have significant flaws, whether in their appearance or demeanor. Some may even lack basic hygiene, while others may have dental issues that make their smiles look quite unappealing. This can create a striking visual that highlights the absurdity of the situation. What adds to the frustration is that these new supplies can sometimes have the nerve to confront you during this turbulent time when the narcissist is juggling both relationships. It can feel bewildering to witness someone who seems to have no regard for your feelings, especially when they are involved with a person who has caused you so much pain. As you reflect on everything that has transpired, you may find yourself remembering how things unfolded in your relationship with the narcissist. Suddenly, you are faced with the harsh reality of their discard and you see them flaunting this new partner. You might recognize this new supply from family gatherings, which adds another layer of complexity. You think to yourself, isn't that the same person I saw at the last family event? How could this be happening? Indeed, it is the same individual. The narcissist has skillfully hidden this connection from you, not wanting you to catch on to their deceitful behavior. They aim to keep you in the dark while maintaining their new supply right where they want them, on standby, ready to fulfill their needs whenever the narcissist feels the urge. The new supply is often just as lost as the narcissist. They stick around, waiting for their moment, and they are just as entangled in this chaotic web of relationships. It's essential to recognize that this new supply is much like the narcissist themselves. They are caught up in the same dysfunctional dynamic, contributing to the overall mess. Every time the narcissist seems to have something stable in their life, there emerges this new supply, ready to play their part. The reality is that the narcissist, the new supply, and even the family can all be seen as part of a larger nest of dysfunction. They are all birds, navigating their chaotic lives without a clear understanding of the consequences of their actions. What is particularly frustrating is that these individuals often lack the ability to foresee the ramifications of their choices. They do not think ahead or consider how their behaviors might affect others. Instead, they act impulsively, jumping from one person to another without regard for the emotional fallout. When the narcissist finally settles in with their new supply, it may appear that they have found a new relationship, but it's crucial to understand that this new dynamic is not as fresh as it seems. This new supply may have been in the background for a long time, just waiting for their chance to step into the spotlight. They are new to you, but they are not new to the narcissist. Once they are with this new partner, the situation often becomes tumultuous. They begin to fight and argue, engaging in a constant back and forth that creates a chaotic environment. At this point, things have become very real for everyone involved. What makes this situation even more intense is that you are no longer responding to their attempts to reach out. You have chosen to implement a no-contact policy which is a crucial step in your healing process. This decision empowers you and sends a clear message to the narcissist that you are no longer available to play their games. Now, the narcissist is with their new supply, and the relationship is unstable. This is typical behavior for a narcissist, as they often treat their new partner worse than they treated you. The reason for this is straightforward, you were insightful and asked too many questions. You were a deep thinker who sought to understand the dynamics of the relationship, which made the narcissist uncomfortable. They prefer partners who are less questioning and more compliant, so they sought to abort the mission before you could do it to them. It is essential to recognize that narcissists have a strong desire to control the narrative of their relationships. They want to dictate how things are perceived, both by themselves and by others. As a result, they often discard their previous partners to maintain their image. Now, they find themselves with this new supply, but the relationship is anything but stable. The environment they create together can be likened to a sewage storm. It's chaotic, messy, and filled with drama, exactly what they thrive on. 
When two individuals with toxic traits come together, the relationship often becomes a breeding ground for conflict and dysfunction. The new supply is usually not much better than the narcissist themselves, leading to a relationship that is fraught with problems. As time goes on, the glamorous images and happy moments that the narcissist once showcased on social media begin to fade away. You might notice that the once prominent posts featuring their new supply have suddenly disappeared. This shift can be surprising, and you may hear about it through mutual friends or family members who are checking in on you. They might express concern or curiosity about what you are doing, alluding to the fact that something has changed in the narcissist's life. The truth is, the new supply has not worked out, and the narcissist is left looking foolish. They played a game with everyone, including themselves, and now that game has turned against them. The narcissist may soon realize that the new supply does not meet their needs, and they find themselves in a position where they must return to you. This return often comes when the narcissist discovers that the new supply is not as compliant or easily manipulated as they had hoped. They may have underestimated the new partner, failing to recognize the complexities of their character. Consequently, the narcissist finds themselves in a bind, realizing that they have lost a source of validation and manipulation. When this happens, the narcissist may attempt to reconnect with you, hoping to regain what they have lost. They might reach out, expressing a desire to rekindle the relationship, even though they previously discarded you. This behavior is not a reflection of their feelings for you, but rather a desperate attempt to restore their own sense of control and superiority. Let's address the situation directly. The truth is, people like you are not easily found. This has created a significant gap in the narcissist's fuel matrix, the system through which they derive emotional energy and validation from others. When they move on to a new supply, they often fail to realize that the quality of their fuel hinges on having a primary supply who is exceptional, like you. Now, some might argue that being labeled as great at is not a compliment. While it is true that being involved with a narcissist is not a positive experience, the reality is that they prefer high-quality supplies. You represented that grade-A supply in their life, and losing you has left them struggling to find the same level of validation elsewhere. Let me emphasize that the narcissist is experiencing difficulties, because they have lost a vital source of emotional fuel. You may notice that they are engaging in behaviors like drive-bys at your workplace, showing up unannounced at your home, or attempting to reach out in various ways. This desperation stems from their realization that they no longer have access to the potent fuel you provided. The new supply was never sufficient for the narcissist, that is precisely why they were kept in the background. This individual may not have recognized the value of what they had, and their inability to meet the narcissist's needs has become painfully clear. The narcissist, in their pursuit of validation, made a grave error by attempting to play you. They chose poorly and now they are experiencing the consequences of that decision. When that new supply failed to meet the narcissist's expectations, the narcissist began to feel the void left by your absence. They may come back around, trying to regain your attention and affection. It is essential to understand that this is not a reflection of their genuine feelings for you, but rather a desperate attempt to fill the emotional gap they have created for themselves. As you navigate this situation, you might find that mutual friends and family members start reaching out to you. They may invite you to lunch or coffee, hoping to discuss the drama surrounding the narcissist's life. They might express concern or suggest that you and the narcissist should try to work things out. However, it is crucial to ask yourself, work things out for what purpose? Why would you want to reconcile with someone who has caused you so much pain and turmoil? You do not owe anything to someone who has treated you poorly. Engaging with a narcissist again, especially one who has demonstrated such erratic behavior, is not advisable. Remember, they are often caught in their own web of dysfunction, and their actions are driven by a need for control and validation. Moreover, the narcissist is likely feeling quite foolish for their decisions. They have effectively cut off their nose to spite their face, a common saying that highlights their self-destructive tendencies. They may not realize how their choices have backfired on them, leaving them in a situation where they are feeling foolish and desperate. So, as you receive these phone calls and invitations from friends and family, remember that you have the power to choose how to respond. 
You do not have to engage with discussions about the narcissist or entertain the notion of reconciliation. Instead, focus on your well-being and surround yourself with supportive people who respect your boundaries. When you look at the new supply that the narcissist has chosen, it can be quite amusing. Some of them might seem like they belong in a circus, almost like a giraffe with short legs or a skunk with unusually long legs. It's a strange combination, to say the least. This is how ridiculous it can look when a narcissist tries to replace someone of value with a less desirable partner. However, when this new supply fails to meet the narcissist's needs, which is often the case, you can expect them to come crawling back. They know deep down that they messed things up with you. If they could find a way to re-enter your life, they would try to do so as if nothing ever happened. But here's the catch, they want to come back and make you the side partner, whether that's a side chick or a side dude. This is their strategy, because the new supply they are trying to work with is often just a placeholder. I always say that this new supply is only new to you, they have likely been in the background for some time. The reality is that this new partner mirrors the true nature of the narcissist, dirty, recycled, and fundamentally flawed. The narcissist has the audacity to play games with you, not realizing they are ultimately playing themselves. They might think they can come back and easily reintegrate into your life, but let me be clear, if you think you can just waltz back into my life and make me a secondary option, you are mistaken. You have me twisted and turned in ways that are simply unacceptable. These individuals can be quite bold. They often try to reconnect with you while they are still in a relationship with the new supply. While they may claim to be on a break, let me assure you, that new supply isn't going anywhere. They are just as unreliable as the narcissist, often lacking the self-awareness to recognize their own worth. If you understand the dynamics of a narcissistic relationship, you know that the narcissist never truly discards anyone. Instead, they shelf you, keeping you on standby while they seek validation from others. You will ultimately be the one who decides to make the final discard. Narcissists are collectors, they gather people and experiences to feed their own insecurities. They thrive on having multiple sources of supply to draw from, and they will never leave you alone voluntarily. Now, when it becomes clear that the new supply didn't work out, the narcissist may think they can return to you, believing that you will welcome them back with open arms. But let me be clear, you are not coming back into my life. I refuse to accept someone who has demonstrated such disregard for me in the past. Here's the reality of the situation, you have moved on. You have picked up the pieces of your life after receiving that phone call or lunch invitation from the narcissist. When they reached out, you made the conscious decision to decline their invitation. You recognized that engaging with them would not serve your best interests. In fact, you took it a step further and blocked them on social media and any other communication platforms. You have no desire to discuss the new supply, a recycled individual who doesn't deserve your attention. This decision reflects your growth and understanding of what you truly deserve. When the narcissist attempted to re-enter your life, you wisely chose not to respond to their hoovering tactics. Ignoring them was a powerful move because narcissists thrive on attention and hate being overlooked. They often feel a sense of injury when they realize that you are no longer interested in their games. Some of you may have chosen to respond to their hoovering in a different way. Instead of engaging in conversations about the past, you might have sent them a picture of your glow up, perhaps showcasing your new car, a beautiful home, or a recent achievement. This response not only demonstrates your progress, but also serves as a major blow to the narcissist's ego. They were likely unprepared for your transformation and did not realize that you were not someone to be trifled with. When divine intervention stepped in and awakened you from the emotional slumber you were in, you made a firm decision. You communicated clearly to the narcissist that you were no longer willing to be a side partner. You asserted your boundaries and let them know that they could go back to their new supply. Now, let's talk about the narcissist's situation. You might think that everything is going smoothly for them, but that is far from the truth. The game they played has ultimately backfired on them. While you were initially struggling and seeking peace during your difficult times, you have since found that peace. You have moved on and embraced your personal growth, focusing on your own elevation and success.
You are leveling up in your life, and you are determined to continue this positive trajectory. You are no longer interested in the chaos that the narcissist brings. Instead, you are committed to your own journey and well-being. As the new supply fails to meet the narcissist's needs, they are left facing dark and dreary days. The reality of their choices becomes evident as they grapple with the consequences of their actions. They may find themselves feeling lost and regretful, realizing that they have played themselves in the process. But do not answer that Hoover, my friend, do not break your no-contact rule. Stay strong and keep moving forward. Remember, greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Let the narcissist know for the rest of your days that you are not someone to be played with. Let me be clear, if you think the narcissist is truly happy with their new supply, you are mistaken. Not at all. This is important to understand, and I wanted to take a moment to address this topic thoroughly. When things do not work out with that new supply who is just like the narcissist you once knew, it can lead to chaos. This is the reality of the situation. I want you to know that I care about you. Take good care of yourself and remain committed to your personal growth. Stay focused on your glow-up journey and ensure you are spiritually fortified. Keep your faith strong and stay grounded in the Word of God. When you do this, you will experience elevation in your life. Leveling up in your journey means you are moving forward, leaving behind the turmoil caused by the narcissist. Now that you have released that toxic relationship, you are ready for new heights, ready to soar. As we wrap up this discussion, I encourage you to engage with our community. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us grow and reach more people who may benefit from this content. Until the next video, remember that I appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you at the top.